Gonna solder here a little bit. So you take your thing, you dip it in the thing. Hopefully I don't ruin my camera because there's smoke going all over it. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to tin the tip of your solder iron. And then you tin the piece you're working with. Like so. And you do the same for the other side of the piece that you're working with. So this piece right here. Like so. Like so. And like so one last time. Okay. So you got that. Now what you want to do is take your parts that you are wanting to solder together. And make sure you make that nice hoop work for you. Yes. So if it's not moving, once you put the solder on there, just take a little pliers and go along with it. Okay. This wants to twist too much. We're getting closer. It's really hard with tiny wires for me. There we go. Get it in a position and tighten it down. There we go. Okay. Now we got that. Just heat it up again on both sides. Add a little more solder. Make sure all the wires are connected, and that one's good. So we'll just slide that on over. Same goes for the rest of these, you just get the hook. are looped. We can add a little heat and solder it together. And same for the other one. You can add a little heat and solder. Blow it off so you don't make the heat shrink close before it needs to. And now you just go cover it up and cover it up. No, I should think like that's not gonna look right. Well, let me put it on. Take your heater. Yeah, blow on it a little bit. Make those joints as small as you can. Okay. Let's bunch that all together. And now what you do is you take this, this end right here. 
find a piece of heat shrink that will work for all three of those little prongs there. But small enough. Just so it barely goes over. I think that one will work just fine. Cut off a piece that's a little bit longer. So you want to be about that long. And cut that off. And then you slip these little things in there. Slip it right on through. Maybe I should have gotten a little bit bigger piece. Oh well. We'll make it work. I think. Yeah, that piece, it doesn't want to fit. Okay, let's try a different, slightly bigger piece. So these are a little bit on the big side. Just... The next size up. <laughs> it's a little big. But we'll make it work. Yes, we will. Slide it on in, no problem. And then we heat it up once again. Look at that, just like magic. You know what? This piece is too big. That piece is actually too big. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go back over here and just cut it. Just cut it off, okay? Knock it off, as they say. Finish. Okay, now it's a little stuck on here, but since it isn't on there completely, it's not watertight. So you want to make sure you get it figured out. Careful. Exacto knives can be dangerous if used improperly. Or properly. Just don't mess with the exacto knives, even if you know what you're doing. 